He is known for his innovative thinking in the fields of urban planning and sociology, and he is recognized for introducing the concept of region to architecture and planning. He coined the term conurbation and elaborated on the concept of neotechnics as a way to create a world beyond commercialization. His name is Patrick Geddes. In the world of urban planning and sociology, one name stands out, Sir Patrick Geddes. Hailing from Britain, Geddes was not just a biologist, sociologist, and geographer, but also a philanthropist and a pioneering town planner. His innovative thinking and unique approach to urban planning have left an indelible mark on the field. Geddes drew inspiration from philosophers Auguste Kant and Frederick Loupé, incorporating their ideas into his work. He introduced the concept of region to architecture and planning, recognizing the importance of understanding the cultural, social, and environmental context of a place. He even coined the term conurbation to describe the merging of urban areas. But Geddes didn't stop there. He believed in the need for a different approach to rebuilding the world, one that went beyond commercialization and the dominance of money. He called this approach neotechnics, emphasizing the importance of creating a society that focused on more than just economic gain. Geddes's passion for all things French led him to establish the Collège de Écossais in Montpellier, France in 1924. This international teaching establishment became a hub for spreading his ideas and teachings. Additionally, he acquired the Château d'Assas in the 1920s, transforming it into a center for urban studies. Sir Patrick Geddes's unique perspective and dedication to creating sustainable and holistic communities have had a lasting impact on urban planning and sociology. His ideas continue to shape the way we think about the built environment and the importance of considering the social and cultural aspects of a place. Geddes's legacy serves as a reminder that urban planning is not just about physical structures but also about creating spaces that foster human well-being and connection. Patrick Geddes, influenced by social theorists like Auguste Comte, Herbert Spencer, and Frederick Le Play, made significant contributions to the concept of regional planning. He built upon earlier theoretical developments and believed in the interconnectedness of city regions as autonomous units. Geddes adopted Spencer's theory of biological evolution to explain the evolution of society. He drew on Le Play's analysis of the key units of society, emphasizing lieu, travail, famille, but replacing family with folk. According to Geddes, stable and healthy homes are the foundation of society, providing the necessary conditions for mental and moral development. Drawing on Laplace's circular theory of geographical locations, Geddes argued that physical geography, market economics, and anthropology were interconnected. He believed that sociology was the science of man's interaction with the natural environment. Regional surveys were the basic technique, with town planning being the chief practical application of sociology. Geddes viewed the city as a series of interconnected patterns, comparing it to a flower. He criticized the tendency for specialization in modern scientific thinking. He also drew inspiration from Eastern philosophy, which embraced the concept of life as a whole and contributed to the beauty of Indian cities. Geddes distinguished between two forms of human social life, paleotechnic and neotechnic. He saw paleotechnic cities as self-destructive, driven by competition, while neotechnic cities fostered interaction and community formation. Geddes believed that the destruction of cities during World War I was not solely due to imperialist invasion but also a consequence of the prevalence of paleotechnic forms of life in European society. Amidst the rapid development of technology, industrialization, and urbanism, Geddes witnessed the social consequences of crime, illness, and poverty. His goal was to find a balance between people and the environment, striving to improve these conditions through his theories and understanding of societal relationships. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.